From our Center for the Art studio, this is your AUTV20 News Break. I'm Evan Laux. Thanks for tuning in. The Ashland County Parks District will hold its Maple Syrup Day event from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday, March 7th at Cook Family Wildlife Conservation Park. Now in its second year of operation, the event will highlight different aspects of the maple sugaring process and teach visitors how to identify and tap maple trees. Afterwards, people can return to the lodge and enjoy all-you-can-eat pancakes with fresh local maple syrup made from Lucius Maple Syrup and B. Cyrus. Free sample jars of syrup will be available for the first 50 people. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost announced Wednesday he, was, he has filed a lawsuit seeking to remove owners of the Mohican Young Star Academy from operating the facility. Yost claims the facility was improperly restraining youth being treated for mental health issues. The lawsuit, filed in Ashland County Common Pleas Court, seeks an immediate injunction to stop owner of Mohican Young Star, Olga Star, from operating the facility and to transfer operations to a third-party receiver. Star released a statement late on Wednesday afternoon denying the allegations. And now for national news, the House voted 220 to 212 on Wednesday evening to pass a policing bill named for George Floyd, the black man whose death in Minneapolis last year led to nationwide protests against police brutality and racial injustice. The legislation overhauls qualified immunity for police officers, bans chokeholds at federal levels, prohibits no-knock warrants in federal drug cases, and outlaws, outlaws racial profiling. It would also establish a national registry of police misconduct to be managed by the Department of Justice. Law enforcement was responsible for the killings of 1,127 people in 2020, according to the Mapping Police Violence Project. Most killings began with police responding to suspected nonviolent offenses or cases where no crime was reported. 121 people were killed after police stopped them for a traffic violation and black people comprised 28% of those who were killed in total, despite making up only 13% of the population. Now we'll look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today we're seeing sunny skies with a high of 36 and a low of 23. On Saturday, we'll see sunny skies again with similar temperatures. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 40 and a low of 27. And finally, Monday and Tuesday will carry on the warm weather with highs in the mid 50s and partly sunny skies. That's it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Evan Laux. Thanks for watching.